Wick Mom came to us with this idea to have an exhibition that featured the artifacts of Ted Sean and Ruth St. Dennis and of Jacob's Pillow. And I think what the WICMA exhibition does is it provides our audience an opportunity to go deep into that history, into the foundation of not only Jacob's Pillow, but modern dance in this country. For WICMA, this has been an incredible opportunity to work with everything from costumes to photographs to fine art. And it's been a great opportunity to work across campus with colleagues in uh, dance and in theater. And I think for us, it carries on this interest that we have. Um, in, in really sort of interdisciplinary projects that cross over into, uh, into performance. Ruth St. Dennis and Ted Sean absolutely believed in dance as an art form. I was asked to try to bring the performative elements of St. Dennis into the space and into the exhibition because um, it was important to have both Ted Sean and Ruth St. Dennis's performance um, and creativity represented in the live for the opening. This is a pretty big show involving a lot of different people, a lot of different materials, and kind of an interesting chronology. And so I think that that was part of where I was brought in was to sort of really brainstorm with Kevin and Caroline about um, sort of the layout of things and what the flow of the audience through the room would be. Um, how to organize things, and I hope that we help people who come to the show to be aware of sort of the history of modern dance, of the roots of it, of how much things might have changed in the last 80 to 100 years. What really excites me about this exhibition is that we've been able to show many facets of the same piece. So a lot of costumes I work with, the costume is all that remains. But here we've got paintings, we've got photographs, we've even got some film footage. So you'll actually be able to see several different sides of the same piece, which I think is really exciting as well. We need to be constantly looking for new ways to engage people in dance. And the idea that we are gonna have this massive exhibition up at Williams College for many months so that students can access these materials, the next generation of dance goer can participate and engage with these materials so that audiences who may never have ventured down to the festival uh, might actually think about doing that. I hope people that visit this exhibition truly enter into the world of Ruth St. Dennis and Ted Sean and experience what it must have been like to see and participate in dance at that time.